need to go for. I wonder if the other ones are out. All right, this is not like the standard leash, but it works. This is like a show leash for the dog show. Sit. So he's extremely ball driven. He's. Oi. So you see, you can't be pushy about the ball. I know you want the ball, and that's a good thing. It shows me that this ball, I can use it to train him, I can use it to get things out of him, and he's willing to work for the ball as much as possible. Ready? Come here. Come. So Mamba is prey ball driven, so he has a high prey drive. Um, so for dogs with that, you can use a ball or a toy. So they are more attracted to a toy. They're willing to work for a toy as their prize, as opposed to willing, as opposed to working for food as a prize. Some are food driven and not ball driven. Some are both food and ball driven. Um, I came to learn that you know just by training Mamba with different methods. He doesn't care too much about being given food as a as, as a reward, but the ball, that's all that's all he wants. That's all he wants. Yeah, sure thing. He's being extremely attentive, looking to me for direction. So now I'll ask him to do different tricks, you know. So give me a paw. Good boy. Go down. Uh -uh. Just down. Just down. Just down. Just down. I know you want it. Wait. Just down. No, 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 no. Down. Wait. Yeah. Now crawl. Crawl. Good boy. Come. Sit. Jump. 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 Good boy. Wait. Come. Spin. Good boy. Come. Spin. This way. Good boy. Come. Here. Down. Come. No, no, no. Here. Down. Down. Good boy. Wait. Wait. Touch. Hold. Touch. Touch. Wait. Good boy. For food initially when training him and think commands like sit you know sit food it's easier to to work like that then sit give a ball sit give a ball because then it kind of it just kind of messes with the flow so with the ball what I do is I give as many commands as possible then I give him the ball at the end of all the commands so not just immediately but you build to that you build to that so initially it's just sit you know good boy down treat good boy um stay you wait come good boy you know things like those so you see he's listening constantly to all these things so for now maybe i give him a series of commands then i'll reward him at the end of all the commands so it's like okay come sit good boy down good boy wait so now we're just asking him to wait and this Part of asking him to wait is impulse control, um, just patience, uh, which are very important, which are very important with dogs. Uh, just listen for their safety, for your safety, for, yeah, it's just something that they need to have. Mm -hmm. So you see now he's still very looking to me to tell him what's next. Mm -hmm. yeah? So I'm still asking him to wait and now just add some distractions. You know, I'm just going to walk over him. I'll still, uh -uh. if he breaks it, you go back there and you wait again. Yeah, I haven't asked him to do anything. What I'm doing doesn't matter. Yeah, me going over him, me walking around, it doesn't matter. I've asked him to wait, so that's what matters. Yeah, 
And because he has been a good boy, he has listened. Good boy. Yeah. You get the reward. <laughs>